Hello everybody, I am the Traveler and welcome back to the Winds of Change. So, we've just obtained the Blade of Exodus and we are about to go and start our journey. But first, we have some conversations, uh, some inter-party conversations and a Parallel uh, Chronicles to view. Parallel Chronicles, Shane 1, start. Shane paced around his prison cell, feeling the walls looking for any structural weaknesses, anything he could use. He'd been in here for far too long, and the isolation was messing with him. Come on, Shane, there's gotta be something. You were supposed to break out of here ages ago. This mission is a bust. Dominic must be worried sick. He knocked on the hard wall of the cell and found nothing. He'd been here ever since Dominic assumed control of the rebellion. His objective was to get caught on purpose and scan their castle. But his, in, but his intel would do little good if he was in his final resting place. Come on. You need to do this. Nobody else has come through here and lived. You're gonna be the first, Shane. I know it. A voice sounds from the doors of the prison. Sobe enters, laughing at what he just witnessed. Looks like you're taking this worse than I thought. I need to talk with you, Shane, so come close. And what makes you think I'll listen? We haven't yet broken out of torture. But trust me, you're walking a fine line. Whatever, just make it quick. I hate the sound of your voice. That and I was enjoying my time alone. <laughs> you really don't care whether you live or die. Good. I like that in a potential soldier of mine. Wait, okay. what? Name your weapon proficiency. You're the one who caught me, Sovi. You should know full well what weapons I use. I said proficiencies. Remember how easily I took you down? Fine. I'm good with a bow. I can play with daggers too, but not as well. Just give me some arrows and point to a target. Shane felt a sense of hope rise within him. If Sobe tried to recruit him, he could gain more intel. It wouldn't be hard to miss his shots on purpose. Unfortunately, his hopes were immediately destroyed. Good. I'll have no problem finding you a bow. We're leaving on a mission, so follow me. You'll be seeing your allies sooner than you thought. Wait, are you smiling? Shane, I don't think you know what's happening. Taking you with me? This is your punishment. Huh? Yes. I'll line up a few of your allies. Then you'll show me how well you handle a bow. If you don't obey, I'll make you suffer. And if you do obey... Well, your friends will think you've defected. They'll give up all hope of rescuing you. Then I can keep you here as long as I like. I know you may not fear death, Shane, which is why I'll give you something far worse. Now, come with me. There's much to discuss. And remember what will happen if you disobey. It's time to realize that you belong to me. My guy's eyes seem to change color. Like, they go from white to, like, a kind of red, like, a pale red whenever he gets, like, vindictive. Wow, it's so beautiful inside the Grand Tree. Too bad they rarely let the scribe in training come here. I wish I had more time to spend in Valinor. Actually, that's not a scribe in training role. It was more like a <laughs> <laughs> For term <time> rule. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? You're not exactly a quiet person. This is a sacred place, and silence is assumption. Why didn't you tell me? I would have been quiet, I promise. Just like when I go to the library. Hey, I don't make up the rules, but honestly, I wish I would have thought it. I didn't realize our time here would be so limited. I thought we'd be here until we were old and gray. But to think that Valinor could just...
must be a small face. You're not the only one who has the guts, Fuente. At least you were allowed inside. I was kept out because of my big mouth. Well, I guess I'm the only one to blame. I'll try to watch my mouth from now on. I gave you ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, okay. So, god damn it. Oh, no, wait, I need to go. Hold on, how do I. Oh, is this. Okay. Okay, nothing here. So, I should pro. Oh. Okay, more uh, Parallel Chronicles to view then. Parallel Chronicles, so three. I'm gonna watch these because I'm not gonna get another chance to see them if I leave. So, Serby so stood at the in the front. <clears throat> I can't read. Serby so stood in front of the Triumvirate's castle, with Shane at his side. Everything was set in motion. Hayden was late, likely learning the same truth as his masters, from his masters. But as soon as he arrived, the plan of attack would commence. We can sail to Mazeo in under a day. There's a ship waiting for us at the Balteus docks. As soon as Halen arrives, we'll be free to go. I can't believe I pronounced that right. Odd choice of words. I highly doubt I'll be free to go. Though I'm a little excited that Halen is coming along. He was much better than you. More threatening as well. Shane, this isn't about being threatening. It's about who can put their foot down when they need to. Halen is all talk. Lots of promises, but no follow through. Right, of course. Thanks for the heads up. I'll remember that next time he tries interrogating me. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you didn't like him. I doubt he's long for this world. A Grand Inquisitor needs to be more than talk. That and I work much better when I'm alone. Working alone, huh? I don't think that's a very good idea. What if you get into a bind? <coughs> Who'd help you then? I don't get into binds, Shane. I'm more in the habit of putting them on others. Yeah, we'll see how far that gets you. So, what's the plan, anyway? Attacking Valinorth? You want the blade back. Halen made it pretty clear. Now, why would I tell you that? Don't assume camaraderie between us. Fine, fine. Just trying to get involved. So you can write to your rebel friends, no doubt. Don't try anything, Shane. I'm watching you. Besides, Valinorth is an insignificant part of our plan. When we're finished, Alistia will be forever changed. So I gather... I imagine we'll find out what the Triumvirate's actual plan is sometime soon. Dominic 3, start. The tunnels underneath Mazea were quiet, almost eerily so. Grizz and Dominic met in secret, not deep enough to run into trouble. Any further though, and they'd cross paths with the Triumvirate's honor guard. I guess that settles it. The deed is yours. You have lots of work to do, Dominic. What comes first? Lots of dusting, I presume. Though there's something odd about these tunnels. The honor guard has no need to eat, sleep, or socialize. Being empty suits of armor, they need none of that. But go any deeper and you'll see an entire hideout. Bedrooms, training rooms, a library, and more. Maybe that's why they never found what we were after. They were too busy building some sort of utopia. <coughs> It'll be easy to fortify against attacks. They've practically done it for us already. I just wish I knew why. It's so peculiar. I have a theory of my own, actually. I do as well. And what is that? You know how those things are created, yes? The Grand Inquisitor and that life-stealing sword. Well, he was at my side when we occupied Mazeo. I see. The members of the Honor Guard that wander these tunnels. I think they're the spirits of those we killed, Domek. Perhaps they just want to continue living. It's heartbreaking. Hmm. That's my theory as well, actually.
that's an understatement. But it explains the beds and living quarters. And if they retain some memory, they'd hate the triumvirate. Yeah, which is why they never completed their job. Or at the very least, intentionally threw their progress. A theory with merit, I'll give you that much. But now we found what you're after, what happens? I think you should tell me what you really want with it. You can think all you want, but it won't happen. Just know that I'm looking to make up for something. I can never undo the occupation, but I have an idea. Very well, whenever you're ready. As long as I have the deed, I'm satisfied. When the seer arrives, however, I'd love to hear more. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to all these places before we leave just to see if there's anything new. Nope, nothing new here. Main Street. Okay, so banter between the two characters. Hey Fortum, remember those apples you used to love? Yeah, how could I forget? You can't get them anymore though. The Triumvirate put a trading ban on the Zao. I still don't understand that. Remember that time I tricked you? I painted a bunch of rocks red and put them in a basket. I told you the trading ban was lifted. You were ecstatic. That is cruel. Yeah, and that was really mean. My parents used to give them to me before, you know. That made me cry more than you'd think. <sighs> yeah, and I just wanted to apologize. This whole <clears throat> deal has me thinking about the past. I wish I spent my time in Valinor to feel better. Oh, well, I accept your apology. Better late than never, right? Yeah, of course. Once we get to Mazeo, I'll buy you some for real. An apology is lame. I'm gonna make up for what I did. Ah, uh, that's so sweet. There's nothing else new here, so I'm gonna move on to the town square. So, this might be the last time we see the town square. Is there anything we should do before we go? I guess one last drink would be nice. The water from Valinorth is always so pure. Want to share some with me, Valessa? Sure. We can use the cups I left here earlier. I was just finishing my water run when we all met up. So, what should we toast to? Toast? Yeah, and this is a big day, right? We should probably drink to something. Especially if it's the last time we might be here. Oh, let's see. What about new beginnings? Or something like being with friends? What about new beginnings with friends? I think that's rather fitting for us. Sounds good to me. New beginnings with friends. May our bond never break. I'm in love with this game. Malice's house is the last place where there could be anything new, which there is not. So I've been to my house, Main Street, Town Square, Master's house. Great Street and is where the newness began. And I've already done everything here. So it's time to leave. Our journey begins. Would you like to leave Valor North? Yes, continue story. We head back to Main Street in search of Samira. The blade of Exodus is strapped to my back and it's heavy. Glances from the townspeople show that they're aware of this artifact. However, being who I am, they raise no concerns to my face. So, Valesa, do you see him anywhere? I don't know what he looks like, so this is on you. Yeah, sorry, I'll put him out. I'm just not used to the villagers staring at me. It's played really makes me stand out, doesn't it? Or maybe they're just admiring our good looks. Come on, Valesa, don't be so uptight. Nobody knows what this blade can do. Let him stare. She gives Sotam no response as she scans the area. It's true, they could stare, but they didn't know. To them, it was just a cool sword, something new. Valinorf could be pretty stagnant and short of excitement. Wait, I see him. She points to a man standing near my house. He has his back against it and taps his foot on the ground. I guess he knew where I lived. Malus must have told him. Hey Zamira, how's your watch going? 
His ears perk up and he starts to approach us. A huge smile on his face as he quickly closes the distance. Hey, Blessa. Long time no see. Can't complain. Things are pretty much the same. This is the most excitement I've had in years. He looks me up and down before staring at the blade. Something told me he wouldn't stay quiet like the villagers. Whoa. That thing looks pretty cool. I've heard a few stories, but didn't get to see it. You'll have to tell me more as we head to Peregrino. Wait, hold on. I have a few questions to ask. Oh, of course you do. Sure. Let's walk and talk. If I'm not mistaken, we're on schedule. He points towards the gate leading out of Thala North, but Tamon speaks his mind as we start walking over. So, you know what's coming, right? I just need to make sure we're on the same page. Yeah, unfortunately, I do. <laughs> But Milas has a plan to keep everyone safe, and at the very least, we have a few days to prepare. I'm confused, though. He knew about this attack, and from what he said, we've known for a while. Why give up Valinor? Why not fortify and prepare? Actually, I heard something about that. Damik, the leader of the rebels, had a vision. Apparently, that blade is more than just a weapon. Damik had a vision? Wait. Other people can use it then? No one else has tried, to be honest. But in his vision, he saw the triumvirate fall. The cost was clear. Valinor fell as well. Who says they both need to happen? We could take them down without abandoning Valinor. Isn't it a little short sighted to do something like that? We don't really know for sure, Valesa, but it sure makes sense to replicate what he saw. That way, the Rebellion's victory is guaranteed. Besides, Milas will evacuate everyone that's willing. Valinorth can be resettled in the future. I know it. I just worry about those who don't buy into the story. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, some people will be stubborn. We can't force them to leave. We just encourage it. Those that stay behind, well... There's nothing we can do. That's true. And it lines up with the vision. The seer mentioned that lots of villagers perished. Isn't there something we can do to help them cooperate? We should focus on ourselves, Valesa. There's no point wasting time on something we can't change. Let's get away from these prying ears. I have some more news. He smiles as we approach the exit of Valinoth. News? In our current situation, that doesn't sound promising. But with curiosity piqued, we followed Zamira with haste. You are about to visit the Valinorth region map. Story floor of the area story floor of the areas is the same as before. However, you now have access to optional side areas. These are indicated by a question mark near the map icon. So Salberg and East Crown. Uh, the Valor North Forest, Peregrino, Outlook. Okay, so the only one that I can go to that story is the Valor North Forest, obviously. And I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna continue the story, and then I can go to Salberg and East Crown later, uh, as we progress. We enter, the we enter the outskirts of Valinorth and take deep breaths. The air is so fresh and pure, it's almost hard to explain. However, our enjoyment is hindered by Zamira's worried look. Well, what's the news? Is everything okay, Zamira? I guess everything is fine. Technically. It's just something I need to tell you in private. The villagers will have enough on their plates tonight. So, it's something that affects them too? More than that, actually. Look, I'll be completely honest with you. I'm sure Valinorth will be resettled in the future. I'm glad you think so, Zamira. I was starting to worry about everything. Seems like Milas has everything under control. Hmm. Yeah. About that. About that, this is where it gets a little awkward. You see, he didn't really tell you everything. What? Really? <clears throat> This is starting to get pretty overwhelming. He seems pretty open. What was he hiding? I don't think I can handle another revelation. 
It was probably too embarrassing for him to admit, but he doesn't really want to leave Valinorth anymore. He told me when he gets to Mazeo, he's staying for good. That can't be true. He was doing such a good job. He was, but I understand where he's coming from. It's possible to be good at something you don't enjoy. He deserves a fresh start, a pursuit of his own choosing. I guess so. Then what about resettling Valinorth? Who'd be in charge when that happens? These people would migrate back too slowly. He'd be in no shape to hold a formal election. So correct me if I'm wrong, but that means... Bingo. Hmm. We'll see her. Right. Does somebody want to fill me in? Does somebody want to fill the seer in? Matters of Valinorth's future. With no elder, they're under the jurisdiction of the seer. Believe it or not, he gets to choose the next leader. Oh. A contingency plan for special cases like this. The only condition is that you can't choose yourself. Obviously. And your duty and role in Valinorth is already well established. Take your time. Evaluate the candidates and think about it. Again, it's not really bad news. It's just another change. Ugh. There's really nothing to think about, though. Choose me. Then I won't be the third wheel anymore. We can be a trio and, and work together all the time. Choose you. Hey, now, let's not jump to conclusions. Oh, God. I think I'd be a fine candidate for Elder. Fortum was trained to fill the gap I'd leave. Oh my, I should have expected this. Sorry to put you in an awkward situation. It's only awkward if Alessa makes it awkward. Hey now. Whatever. They crossed their arms and turned away from each other. Really? Fighting over an opening that was only revealed seconds ago? I could understand that passion, but we needed unity right now. Look, this might not be relevant for years to come. There's no need to argue about this. Stay focused. We have a really important job on our hands, you know? Right? They don't respond and simply retain their pose. Their passion for Valinorth is admirable but intrusive. We had a clear goal, and now things are getting muddled. None of you know where Peregrino is, right? If I start walking without you, you'll get lost. I'll give you a few minutes, but I'm on a schedule. The threat makes them both turn back around. Good. That's what I thought. Take a few moments to talk amongst yourselves. But when you're ready to go, we need to move as fast as we can. All right. Yeah, fair enough. Zamir rests against a nearby tree and lets out a loud sigh. He was just relaying information. The fallout wasn't his to deal with. There are a few minutes to spare. I should make the most of it. Uh, okay, so I have to... I'll talk with you first. Hey. So what would you do as Elder of Valinorth? Wait, is this like a job interview or something? I've never been very good at selling myself. First and foremost, though, I'd reconnect with the spirits. How would you do that? That way, Valinorth wouldn't freeze over. A lot of people forget it's the spirits that keep us warm. After that, I guess I'd focus on what to do with the people. Yes, how would you do that? Actually, I'm not too sure about that. But we're about to go on a huge journey. I'll make sure to pay attention along the way. That's a good plan. If the connection can be taken away, it can be given back. There's nothing that says this is a one-way street. So take care of that power until we can put it back. Alright, we'll find a way. That's the spirit. Saving Alessia comes first, but Valinorth is still important. There has to be a way to do both at the same time. You know? And what do you mean by do with the people? Well, we have an important choice to make. We can follow after Mylas and drop our independence, or we can distance ourselves from the other nations. Like always, right now, I think unity is important. If I were the Elder, I'd band our world together. We could live in harmony and trade freely. I know I hate the trade ban they put on Mazeo, but this isn't personal. Lifting those bands and uniting the nations would create peace. Isn't that our goal at the end of this year? I agree. Awesome. I'm glad you agree. The rebellion is founded on unity. 
then it's strong. Each nation on its own would stand no chance of winning. The Triumvirate won't be the last threat Alestia faces. It's stupid to think that we'd have an eternal peace. We can't band together now only to split up after. This is true. <laughs> you know this would interfere with your hobbies, right? You mean like cleaning and climbing trees? Oops. I want to do a quick save, not a full save, but okay. Fine, just interrupt the story. So if my work could keep an entire village happy, well, I couldn't think of a better job if I tried. I want to be more than just a scribe in training. But the scribe in training is very important. I know. But the Elder is way more important. Right now, I'm stuck here unless something happens to Valesa. I'd rather rise through the ranks another way. You know, you two make a good duo. I'm just unnecessary at this point. But if I became the Elder, we could all work as a team. It'd be like we're a triumvirate of our own. Uh, let's not go there. I'm positive. She's doing a fine job as your scribe. Having me as the elder would utilize my full potential. I don't mean to brag, but I spend a lot of time with Milas. Uh -huh. As a scribe in training, I'm just held back. I don't think I'll ever need to take Valessa's position. So why not let me take another position instead? Look, all I ask is that you think about it, all right? At the end of the day, we're the two best candidates. There's no election here. The choice will rest upon you. Yeah, no pressure or anything. <sighs> okay, Valessa, state your case. Hey. So you want to be the next elder? Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> if I become elder, then Fortin can take over as your scribe. It seems like the logical course of action. Doesn't it? Yes. We need to figure out how to save Valen. After the attack, we can rebuild from the ashes. But I also want to solve our problem with the spirits. Once we restore our connection, we'll be fine. After that, it's just a matter of what we do with our nation. I'm not really a fan of what Milas and his father did. Mm -hmm. What would you do differently? Well, we'd sacrifice Valinor's independence. That was the one thing that set us apart, made us unique. If we lose that, we lose Valinor's very soul. So you would keep us- I want to keep our line of seers going. We can't lose our heritage. I'd ensure that we remain nonpartisan, just like always. <sighs> Look at all the trouble these alliances have given us. Hmm. So you would keep us hidden separate from the rest of the world. And I think I kind of agree more with with Fortem about uniting. Strength doesn't come from numbers, Sam. It comes with the ability to be ourselves, to express what's inside. Without our independence, we're no different from anyone else. Our line of seers will lose meaning. Our forests will be cut down. After a few decades, we'd be no different from Isaiah. We can't lose this feud. I'll fight to keep it safe. <laughs> okay, well, the forest being cut down, that is definitely a bad thing. How would you restore our connection? I don't know, but if it's possible, I'll do it. I'll look for reading material when we get to Malveo. Or if we ever find ourselves in Baltus, there's the Grand Library. Remember, that power still exists within you. After we defeat the Triumvirate, it won't just vanish. There must be a way to put it back into the Spirit Isle. We definitely will. I can't just let Valinor die. Even if it takes the rest of my life, I'll keep searching. I just hope that you'll stay with me along the way. Hmm. Why do you think that the blade gave me visions? I've been thinking about that, actually. Not just you, Dominic as well. Only a seer of Valinor can have visions. Is there more to Dominic than I know? Or is there more to the blade than I know? I could say it's the energy inside of you, but Dominic doesn't have that. Or does he? 
<sighs> Basically, none of this makes any sense to him. We're watching the laws of Alestia be renewed for us. So, if you're asking me for an answer, I really don't know. It's something we have to learn as we venture forward. But I have a feeling that this blade changes everything. In the bathroom, I do it in full time. What about it? Well, things are okay between you two? They usually are. It's more like an argument between us as anything new. With a few minutes to cool off, everything will be fine. Besides, we all know what the right choice is. I'm the most qualified person in Valinor to replace Minus. Hortum is trained to replace me. It just seems natural. <laughs> you think you're a better fit for Elder, then? Oh, of course I am. I work with Minus almost every day. I know exactly what he does. In a way, he trained me. Just like his father trained him. If you chose Fortum, it would be a learning curve. That, and I don't think he's fully qualified. Make sure not to tell him that. He'll hate that. Why do you think he's not qualified? His contact with Milas is minimal compared to mine. If he took over, he'd need to be trained from the ground up. But if Milas is retiring, I don't think he'd be willing to teach. And with no teacher, he need to find somebody already trained. I have a pretty good idea of what Milas does. I saw him every day. So I'm trained and ready to leave. Seems like an easy choice, right? Hmm. Can I order an election? I'm not sure about that, actually. It would be counterproductive, though. You already have two perfect candidates. We're high up on Valinor's ladder. Not many people are. I also think that the villagers would support both of us. It seems like a natural succession of power to me. Uh, I mean, she is right. She has, she does, she spends more time with Milas, so she, and she's more trained, so she would be more qualified. I don't know. Uh, hey, Zamira, what's work for you? It's a lot less exciting than you'd think. They advertise it as a position of power, busting smugglers and protecting Valinor. And it's not like that. No, not at all. I spend most of my day standing around. Crime in Valinorth is almost non-existent. Because the spirits have blessed us, right? I guess that's one popular theory. But to be honest, I don't buy it. Spirits can't change our nature. Nature? Deep down inside, we're all evil. Some of us just manage it better than others. We all have our impulses. It's about controlling them. What an odd outlook. Hey, don't deny <laughs> your impulses, Valesa. If you had to steal to get by, you'd do it. Valinorth is just special. Resources are everywhere. Mazeo has been almost completely deforested. You can't just go into the forest and find food. There's not enough natural running water either. See, I didn't know that. I don't blame you. Everyone in Valinorth is happy. Nobody is scraping by, you know? Imagine if food was scarce. There'd be a lot more people breaking the law. Stealing it, hurting others for it, you name it. He's not wrong. What do you know about all of this? I've been to Mazeo a couple of times. Trust me, the guards there have it much harder. They don't even know if they'll survive their shifts. That's terrible. Oh. Wow. So when I say the post here in Valinorth is boring, I'm not really complaining, to be honest. I'd much prefer boring work to, you know, die. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, Zamira, about those antlers. What about them? You ever, like, hit them on a doorway? I mean, you can't be fully aware of them all the time. Yo, have you ever accidentally hit someone else with them? I'm a bad <laughs> Whoa, okay, backing off. I was just curious. I've always wondered. How do you put a shirt on each morning? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, that one clearly is just, just, you know, slide on me, slide on me a bit, tie up, whatever. 
really slip clothes over your head. Those things would tear through any fabric. That reminds me of that pick with uh, that one that one deer guy. Terrorless, I think his name is pronounced. But he was like, he found like a shirt and a sword. He tried to put it on, but his atlas just ripped it all to shreds. I don't really have anything that slips over my head. I only wear things I can fit my arms inside of first. You know, like button ups or vests. Like what he's wearing right now? Right. I guess that makes sense. Sorry for annoying you. Please don't hit me. Of course. I'll do my best for Tim. But I'm not responsible for any accidents. It's not responsible for any accidents. <sighs> okay, Parallel Chronicles, Damic 4. Damic returned to the surface with Grizz at his side. The older man took a deep breath, enjoying the fresh air. It was a little stuffy down there, but they could make do. Digging tunnels underneath their own church. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. Nobody really comes here. Mazeo isn't exactly known for its pious people. Easy to get away with. Though I have to say, it's pretty ironic. The rebellion settling in the Triumvirate's church. A bit poetic, isn't it? Maybe after this we can settle in their castle. <coughs> One step at a time. Let's not get carried away. I'll write them and let them know what we found. After all these years, I'm not sure how to feel. Relieved. With a side of being terrified. A at least that's how I feel about all of this. Finding another spirit idol. This changes everything. I always assumed that was the idol. At the altar. It was always so dim. And we just thought that it was dying. But it was receiving power from something deep underground. <laughs> it's nice to know that the theories were correct. The search was starting to feel like a lost cause. The only lost cause is their pursuit of conquest. Let them know what you found. Let's get things started. What are you planning, Damek? I'll let you know tomorrow if everything goes well. I have to prepare for the arrival of our special guest. But trust me, I've put a lot of thought into this plan. You've earned my trust. Grizz nods before leaving the church. Damek, not alone, approaches, approaches the altar. He smiles as he places a hand upon it. It won't be long until the Triumvirate sends their forces. If I'm lucky, they might even come to see it for themselves. His, smiles turn, his smile turns into more of a sinister smirk. Right now, they're busy with Valinor. But by the time they reroute... My army will be in place. When they set foot underground, we'll kill them all. And... Halen won. <clears throat> Halen finally caught up with his master. He was slightly out of breath, having run a great distance. But his annoyance outraged everything, anything he was lied to. Sobe, explain yourself. Immediately. You told me to wait in the castle atrium. If I did that, you would have left without me. Oh, did I really say that? I'm sorry. I must have gotten carried away with our prisoner. How did your meeting with the Triumvirate go, Halem? They refused to tell me these secrets. Something about my loyalty not being strong enough. Well, look at it this way, Halen. The mission we're going on is very important. No better way to prove your loyalty to the cause. Uh, I guess you're right. But I don't like being left in the dark. No one does. Then you'll get along great with Shane. He's been pestering me with questions all day. I don't fraternize with prisoners. Whatever you say. Sophie walks away, laughing in a mocking fashion. Halen and the prisoner slowly, slowly followed suit. You know, we have a long boat ride ahead of us. Might not be a bad time to start fraternizing. Did I stutter, Shane? Leave me be. Oh, you think you're better than me, right? 
Well, here's some food for thought, apprentice. You're more a prisoner to the triumvirate than I am. What did you just say? Neither of us will know true freedom. We're nothing but a means to an end. They'll kill you the moment you disobey. We have no choice but to follow orders. The difference is, you do this willingly. I have no idea why. You seem smart to me. <sighs> hmm. Okay, so they've had the talks, I assume. I guess that means we can move forward to Peregrino. There isn't a book there, I don't think. No, I, didn't, I don't remember seeing a book, a, a book icon. At a lengthy trek through the forest, we arrive at Peregrino. The scent of ale and the aged wood of the tavern permeate the air. Samira lets out a sigh of relief, having finally achieved his goal. Well, it looks like we're finally here. It wasn't that bad, was it? Not as bad as I thought it'd be. Is there just no voice acting here, or is the, did the game break? My legs are a little sore, but I'll manage. I know we're far from home, but this still feels like Valor North. I guess maybe I expected something a little different. Just wait until you see the the outlook. Is that supposed to be outlook or outlook? For lesser. Yeah, it's supposed to be outlook. The outlook. I found another typo. Yeah, you can almost see the entirety of Alessia. As soon as there's no trees in the way, you'll be amazed. It's easy to forget we're on top of the highest mountains. So we're not surrounded by tree trees the entire way to Mazeo? Absolutely not. Even aside from the de deforesting, trees are scarce. It makes for a beautiful view. I'm sure you'll love it. The tone of his voice implied that we wouldn't be going that he wouldn't be going with us. If he's seen it before, then I doubt that staying behind was a big deal. But for some reason, for Tam and Valessa seem a bit upset at hearing this. Right. I guess you're on your own schedule now. You only had to bring us to Peregrino. I'm not about to ditch you though. I'll head inside, feel free to follow along. It won't be too hard to find Pro, trust me. He leaves outside and starts walking into the tavern. We exchange glances, seeming a little hesitant. Well I guess this is it. As soon as you meet Pro, we're off to Museo. Wait, did you say Pro? We're all started by the sudden intrusion. But to me, the voice is immediately recognizable. Ulrich? What? Who's there? He lets out a soft laugh as he approaches us. After looking me up and down, a wide smile appears on his face. I forgot we haven't actually met. It's a blade on my back, he notices. Well, what do you know? It's you. Kind of makes my job a whole lot easier. <laughs> Wait, you know us? Just Kairos. Then you must be... Ulrich, from the Vision. Excuse me? Yeah, you were in the, the Vision that Kairos had last night. Huh. Haven't met, haven't even met, and I'm already in your dreams. That has to be some kind of new person. <laughs> he cracks another smile. Is that an attempt at flirtation? If it was, it wouldn't go anywhere. For time promptly interrupts. He says you died, Ulrich. Something about a man named Sobi. His ears perk up as he hears the name Sobi. But, but he seems to find something comedic about for, about for time's words. Clapping his hands together simply once, he smirks at the three of us. You sure are good at first impressions, little one. I'm not little. It seems that nobody jumps to for time's defense. Is he telling the truth, Kairos? Yeah, that's all true. How exciting! You'll have to tell me more you'll have to tell me more once you grab Pro. After that, we're going to evacuate Valinor. It seems like he's able to piece things together. The vision of his death and Sobi was Valinor's destruction. He wastes no time in suggesting our immediate course of action. Actually, Malus is taking care of that. The village is gal gathering for a celebration tonight. The perfect time to group up and escape, right? Really? I'm starting to wonder why I'm even here. Either way, Pro and I will take you to Dominic. Glad to hear this vision of yours won't come to pass. That much is true. 
He had avoided Valinorth entirely. Too bad the attack on Valinorth wasn't something he could avoid. So we get things started? Unless you want to talk more, I'm up for that too. I can't tell if he's being genuine or sarcastic. It's hard to get a read on this man, and that's odd. His resolve in last night's vision, his demeanor was clear. I feel like, even though we barely talked, we're on the same page. He seems to know why we're here, where we're going, and what we need to do. That makes things a, lot, a bit easier. Endless planning would be tedious. Whenever you're ready, Kairos, seems like we have a lot ahead of us. We all look at each other before nodding. It seems like everything else is following my lead. Everyone else is following my lead. I could probe Oleg for information, or head right inside. Oleg has now permanently joined your party, the Rebel Brawn. So, is this as far as the voice acting is going, or...? Hey. Okay. So you recognize this blade? Absolutely, I'd recognize that thing anywhere. I'm surprised you have it out in the open like that. We went through such great lengths to hide it. Can you tell me about it? About the Blade of Exodus? It's extraordinary. I have no idea where it came from, or the full scope of its power. It can repurpose life into an energy that serves the wielder. That gear at the base can spin, which should be impossible. It's almost like some it's almost like some parts of the blade exist in a different world. I'm starting to think that's the case. Where else would it store all that power? How can it accomplish such a thing? I have no idea, and I don't think we'll ever find out. It must tap into a person's spirit before it enters the spirit realm. That's the only non-physical part of us that could be considered energy. What are your thoughts on this weapon? It's practically cheating. Whoever wields it has infinite power. I don't think of the triumvirate, triumvirate as gods. They were just abusing this weapon. Now that they don't have it, taking them down should be a child's play. How long have they had it? I'm assuming they've always had it. It's how they came to power. Some people seem to think they used the blade to create our entire world. Not many people know about it though and they see the triumvirate as gods. They really aren't. They're just men who came upon a greater power. And now we have that greater power. We can rule Alestia far better than them. I think we should destroy the blade after we win. It's a tool of pure corruption. I emphatically agree. And I can see you in full form now. Uh, uh, um, um, okay, don't do that. Uh, my mouse seized up. Let's probably go through these in, uh, in order. How, for the, how did the rebellion obtain it? It wasn't too long ago, maybe half a year. The rebellion planned an attack. Our previous leader planned it, down to even the smallest detail. Steal the blade, map out the castle, and pave a way for the, our, fu our future liberation. I'll be honest, he knew he was going to die. He used his final moments to get the blade. Some people think it's a little fishy. How could we win so easily? Did the letters win? I don't think it's that deep. They just didn't expect our leader to effectively commit suicide. That sounds impressive. I was. Change the subject. Okay. Okay, fine then. Or I'd like to meet him. I'm sure you won't. I don't think any of us will. The scope of his planning went farther than I could have imagined. Being the elder of Valinorth, he planned every aspect of your involvement. I guess breaking Valinorth's non-partisan stance made perfect sense to him. Every little piece was in place. The liberation of Al Alestia was finally attainable. I just hope that you're everything he thought you'd be. Ruining that blade isn't easy. Do you think Dominic will do a good job as his replacement? He already is, and I'm happy to serve him. Things are going swimmingly. It helps that he was one of the founding members of the Rebellion, too. At that point, though, he was too young to lead. Things are different now. 
He's done a fine job of honoring our leader's legacy and guiding us to victory. He had to make a few hard decisions, but I trust his judgment without question. Everything is going according to plan. One final assault is all we need. Do you think we'll win because of it? Hard to say. That depends on your ability to wield it. The Triumvirate had that blade for an eternity. You don't have that much time. Not to put too much pressure on your shoulders is just the truth. Yeah, but you also saw me die, right? These visions aren't as reliable as I've been led to believe. Rather than seeing the future, it's almost like it shows you what to avoid. Too bad we can't avoid what's coming to Valanith. When Dymic touched the blade, he saw Valanith fall, and the rebellion win. It seems like he's embracing what he saw. Good thing you're not, or else I'd be dead. Aside from visions and blades, how do you feel about this war? You mean, how do I feel with the, our most valuable assets? Pretty terrible. Without visions to guide us and the power of that blade, we'd be dead. There's no way we could take them down with, through conventional means. However, at the moment, everything is in our favor. Everything. We just need to be careful. Do not let the Triumvirate or Sobi take that blade back. If we can do that, victory is as good as ours. A new future will arise to greet Alessia. I'm glad to be on the winning side. This is going to be scary. Scary is an understatement, but I've never been more certain about victory. Dominic is pretty excited to meet you, actually. You're going to help us win this war. What should I expect from Isaiah? Lots of pirates and people who are after money, no matter what. Don't trust random people and don't buy anything from a stranger. So don't buy anything from anyone, is what you just told me, because everyone in Mazeo would be a stranger. You get swindled and robbed far beyond you, far before you found anyone genuine. The occupation didn't make things too much better. It's still dangerous. Mazeo's spirit idol was also on its final days, dim and defeated. At least, that's what we thought until very recently. Is piracy so bad even after the occupation? Yeah, the occupation didn't do much to help. No matter what anyone says, I think I'm qualified to speak on the matter. I mean, I've lived there forever. There's still an active piracy network, smuggling things from Azeo to Alarinthia. Al so the triumvirate was after something else then. Yeah, the elimination of piracy was just an excuse. I think they were searching for the spirit idol underneath Mazeo. And what they wanted it for, and what they do with it, I'd have no idea. Do you think we could win the pirates to our cause? Probably not. Not unless they had some reason to help us. A big one. A liberated Ale Ale Alessia would have no room for rampant piracy, right? There'd be no reason to help a cause that hurts their livelihood. Right now, they're a wild card. Not on our side, but not against us either. We should use that to our advantage while we can. They might turn on us later. Is it going to be safe for me to wander around Maseo? I'll be at your side. Damik should be as well. You'll be fine. We know the lay of the land and how to deal with rebel. With people. Just follow, just follow our lead. Besides... Most of our time will be in the Rebel HQ. It's safe there. What will the Rebellion do about piracy after the war? Alessia will be free. We won't have any restriction on trade. That's a good thing and a bad thing. The pirates will fight against it. We could take down the Triumvirate, only to find ourselves against the pirate army. Now that just sounds lovely, doesn't it? How do you know Sobi? He recently rolled <clears throat> He recently rose to the ranks and has given us tons of trouble. When the triumvirate gets in our way, he's likely responsible. He makes himself a lot more known. Way different than the last Inquisitor. 
I haven't gotten to meet his apprentice yet. A Grand Inquisitor always has to train one. And ensures a constant cycle of obedience. Who was the previous Grand Inquisitor? I don't know. Okay. Short, simple, to the point. No explanations, no conjecture. That's fine. Wait, Servia has an apprentice? Yeah, but as I said, I have no idea who it is. If Servia is training him, though, I'd watch out. Seems like we'll be up against some tough opposition. Does the tribe Amverit have any more lackeys? Not that I'm aware of, and I highly doubt it. It's just them, the Inquisition, and their honor guard. Seems simple enough, but taking them down will be anything but. You seem to know an awful lot about this, Ulrich. The more you know about the enemy, the easier it is to oppose them. This is one of the fundamental rules of war. Know what you're up against. Ignorance on the battlefield is the fastest way to meet your own end. Makes a hell of a lot of sense. Thank you for the information. Ooh, these two. Wow. Oh, it gets so big. <laughs> yeah, I get compliments on it all the time. Can I touch it? Of course you can. Just be gentle, though. Yeah, I'll do my best. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. You might want to use both hands and tighten your grip a little bit. Like this. A little bit lower. Oh, sure. How about now? There you go. That's more like it. Now swing that sword with all your might. Yeah! Whoa, watch what you're doing. You could have killed me, kid. I'm so sorry. I've never used a great sword before. I feel like we should keep it that way. Alright, I think uh, for this, this is going to be the last thing I do in this episode, and then I'm going to end it because I'm running out of time. Dominic ventured back underground from the Church of Maseo. After a lengthy journey through the tunnels, he was home. The deed was secured, and they had everything they needed. Why did the Honor Guard do all of this? They single-handedly sheltered and armed our forces. One of the rebels notices Dominic's sudden interest, entrance. He quickly stands up and greets the general with a smile. Damik, sir. Everything is going according to plan. Our forces have started to relocate. Perfect timing, Vance. I just received the deed from Grizz. It took some convincing, but I did it. Wait, you didn't already you don't you didn't already have the deed? Why are we moving everything down here? Oops, you didn't hear anything, alright? Besides, I knew I could win him over. This was just a bit of a head start. And cut the formalities. Call me Dominic. We've been through enough. This isn't about rank. I think of us as a family, not an army. Of course, Dominic. I'm amazed at our new HQ, to be honest. How did you secure all of this? It wasn't me, Vance. The Honor Guard was planning a long stay. They're responsible for everything you see. You mean those things? Why would they build stuff they have no use for? They can't really fight, and they have no need to sleep. Dominic smirked and grabbed a blade from the nearby shelf. They must have known someone would use it. Either way, the Triumvirate doesn't know about this. Their own honor guard is defying orders, it would seem. Vance followed Dominic's lead and grabbed the blade as well. So there's discord among them. Never thought we'd live to see that. Yeah. But also proves the triumvirate isn't all knowing. There's no way they'd let this happen if they were. They they're just like us. We can take them down. He flourishes his blade and holds it out. That is, if we're strong enough. It's a spar you want? Vance smirks and mimics the, the flourish of his general. A few of the nearby rebels stop in their tracks to watch. Just if you need to make sure you haven't gotten sloppy. As soon as the Triumvirate finds out, a fight is coming. Don't worry, Damik. I'm ready. They charge at each other, and their swords clash. The loud clang of steel against steel fills their HQ. As the audience grows in size, their morale rises in tandem. So, you know, I'm not certain if... 
there's, they just wasn't voice acting for this section, or if that, this is just as far as voice acting has gotten to. Um, but at this point, I'm going to go ahead, quick say, God damn it. Okay. No! Okay. okay. Quick save and a proper save. Location for everything I see. I don't know if these are going to change anything, but since the bulbs are changing, these probably will change later on in the story. Um, I'm going to try and keep the corruption at zero and just only focus on purity. Um, if the corruption starts to go up, then I've made a mistake, a terrible, terrible mistake, and I'll have to undo that. But anyway, um, we'll see in the next episode if the voice acting um, returns or this just was just a section that just didn't have voice acting or if the rest of the game isn't completely voice acted yet. Like, it, like, I've said, like, it, like I've said a number of times, it is still in early access so a lot of things aren't going to start yet. There are still some typos as I've mentioned twice now. Um, and there's actually a point where the voice actor said something that uh, they dropped two words out of text that were in the actual text that probably should have been deleted. But um, this is really awesome, and I hope this. I hope it gets. I hope some updates come out soon, and whatever there are, I'll try and keep up to date with those updates and let you know um, where those updates are. <laughs> Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, give that like button some love. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.